Hi, I'm Dr. Sneha Jaisu. I'm a double certified pre and postnatal fitness expert. I'm here today with Marcy, uh, who's a clinical dietitian and a certified personal trainer herself. And both of us are collaborating on this prenatal fitness series where we're going to give out a lot of information for pregnant women out there who want to get into fitness, say, stay fit and strong throughout their pregnancy. Hi, everyone. Let's roll into this. <laughs> So the goal uh, of training during pregnancy is not to lose weight. Yes, not putting on too much weight is one of the benefits, but the goal is not to actually drop weight. Uh, you want to make sure that you're putting on a consistent amount of weight through all three trimesters of your pregnancy. Now, physiologically and uh, anatomically, a lot of changes happen in your pregnancy. I'm just going to use Mercy to show you guys what actually happens. So there's going to be a lot of rounding of the upper back and then arching of the lower back. So this is called uh, thoracic kyphosis where you're rounding and this is lumbar lordosis where you're arching. So what this does is it starts stretching your abdomen way too much so there's not enough support for the low back. So a lot of times women experience low back pain and that's because their core is shutting down and that's also not allowing their glutes to fire uh, as well. So that's uh, in, in turn causing a lot of stress on the low back and, it's, and along with that this arching is really stiffening up those low back muscles. So what our goal is for uh, exercise during pregnancy is to correct um, these postural changes and how we do that is with very specific training. So we're going to be doing a lot of upper back exercises to get that rounding to straighten up. And we're going to be doing a lot of glute exercises to tuck that pelvis in. And so we're not getting that arching in the low back. And along with that, of course, is overall uh, strength and uh, conditioning for the, for the entire body as well. But the goal is to make sure that these uh, postural changes don't limit you from moving and working out and, you know, just uh, keep you in a very pain-free state. The first core move we have is a plate push to a round world. So we're going to start off by taking the plate right up against the chest. So we're going to do one push forward, really keeping that core tight, bringing it back, and then turning around the plate in one direction. So clockwise, and then you're going to press in again, and then move anti-clockwise. Every time you press out, you're going to breathe out, exhale, really engaging that core. Again, inhaling while coming back, exhaling while taking the plate all around. So really keep synchronizing your breathing because this is really going to challenge your core in different planes and angles because you're moving the plate, plate around in different planes. If that's really challenging, you can also drop into a split stance. So mercy, can you just get one foot back? So light split stance, we're going to use that to balance the core and then push the weight up turning around again and do round work. So for the sounds exercise, we're going to start off by placing the hands behind. So slide bend in the elbows just for support. So we don't want to do any lying down exercises after the first trimester. So we're going to use this position to uh, engage the core and get into the movement. So gently lift the legs up after engaging the core. We're going to slowly kick one leg out and we're going to place it on the floor for a split second, pulling the core back in as you lift the leg back up. So really synchronize your breathing, exhale as you pull the leg back up, inhale as you drop it down. We're going to slow down the movement a little bit, so we're really feeling the work in the lower most abdominal. If you're feeling any strain or discomfort in your low back, you're not engaging your core right, you want to stop, reset the core, tuck it back in, which means ribs coming down to your belly button, and then get into the movement. So we're going to do a variation of horse stance vertical where you lift both your arm and leg up. So the variation here is we're going to slide the leg back. So we're going to start off in a nice four point position. So Mercy is going to get her palms right below her shoulders and then her knees are right below her hips up here. She's going to find a nice neutral spine and start off by lifting one arm and dragging the opposite leg out, really squeezing the glutes and the opposite upper back muscles. So we're going to get that chain to work, the opposite uh, glutes working with the opposite upper back muscles. So really squeeze and hold that position for a split second and then drop back in. With your breathing, try and keep that core tucked in throughout. Exhale as you open up and then inhale as you bring it back in. Again, Mercy's going to adjust her back, tuck it in a little bit so it stays nice and flat and then get back into the movement. Slow and controlled reps throughout. Next up, we have a side plank, but we really have to make sure 
that the breath is not being held the entire time. So we're gonna start off by getting the elbow right below the shoulder like this. Get onto your knees, we're doing a regressed version. We're gonna lift the hips up, tucking the core in the entire time, which means you're bringing your ribcage down to your belly button and squeezing the glutes as well. So every single time you feel like you've lost that control, we're gonna drop that down, reset, and then lift the hips back up. So you're holding that core in, but breathing in and out throughout. So no exercises, no planks where you're holding the breath, but you're just gonna try and control the core up here, but keep breathing in and out. You can also get your hand up for a little bit of balance up there if you're comfortable, or you can also drop the hand back down and just take a little bit of support with that, uh, with your fingers right up there. 